Thank you and hello. Thank you and hello very much. You will not like everything you see me do tonight. I'm up here for 30 minutes. Do you like everything about your home, your job, your family, yourself when you look in the mirror naked, everything? Why would you expect that out of me? This show is like real life. It's funny, and then it's not, and then it's over. Showtime asked me if I wanted to do a 30-minute special. I said, well, let me think about it. Sure. Yeah, I'll do that. I started doing comedy in jails, drug rehabs, halfway houses, and other places I've lived. I, I love working for people who choose to be an audience. In 1988, I was a 126-pound methamphetamine, cocaine, wino, cardboard box, living, shuffle, step, mumble, bum, horrible, smelling, long-haired, one set of clothes, foul-mouthed criminal individual. I lived under a bridge in Oakland, California, an abandoned building when nobody bigger and badder would kick me out, and that happened every day. <laughs> every homeless person you'll ever meet has a system for their survival. Mine was honesty. I would approach people on the sidewalk. Give me a dollar and I'll stop talking to you. <laughs> people pay cash for that immediately. I get panhandled now as I travel. I'm on the road a bunch of weeks a year and I have a guy come up here, hey, give me a quarter. No, I don't give away my money. Never. Why not, man? A quarter ain't nothing. Oh, okay, well, you give me one. <laughs> now it has value, doesn't it? I'll give a ride to a homeless guy because I need to use a commuter lane that day. <laughs> the privilege of your attention and focus tonight is a compliment I never take lightly because sad fact is a lot of us next year won't be around. That's real life. That's the way it's going to be. Have a nice weekend. <laughs> I've done shows for 20,000 people in a screaming arena. I've worked for four people in detox who didn't know I was there. You people are somewhere in between. Presentation I do every night starts at the end, moves back to the beginning and finishes without any warning at all like most of my relationships. <laughs> See, criminals don't make friends. We recruit accomplices. I have a young daughter. She lives with her mother, the plaintiff. <laughs> Thanks for laughing. That's an expensive joke right there. <laughs> I was, a, I was a horrible husband. Uh, I'd come home after a three-day drunken, drugged-out binge and just dragging home, penniless, tired, no sleep, just... Whew. She'd say, you know, you never did this before we were married. So, you admit it's your fault. 